Hello Code Gurus, welcome back. And as a part of this video tutorial, we will see how to host Quasar application on AWS in under 10 minutes using AWS Amplify framework. All right then, let's proceed to the terminal. And the first thing which we need to ensure is we need to see whether we have already installed AWS Amplify on our machine. So if it is not already installed on your machine, so just go ahead and say npm install hyphen g at aws hyphen amplify slash cli so this command will just go ahead and install aws amplify on your machine so this is a cli tool which is one of the part from your aws amplify so if you're not sure what aws amplify is uh, in meantime let's go ahead and have a quick introduction about it so here you just need to say aws amplify so if you just click over here, so here your AWS Amplify is a collection of three different tools. So first it's a CLI tool, which ensures all your developer experience is good. And next is your framework. So let's say depending upon your developing a iOS or a Android or a web application. So these guys have given us a set of uh, libraries which we can use out of the box and create beautiful functionalities for our web applications or mobile applications. And lastly, this AWS Amplify even consists of your actual cloud services on our AWS. So now, till now with our NPM command, we have been installing this CLI tool. So let's go back to our terminal and see if it is installed. So it's still taking time, some time. So just give it a couple of seconds. All right then, so we have successfully installed our AWS Amplify CLI on our machine. So what is the next important step? So the next important step is you need to go ahead and configure that uh, on your machine. So how do you do that? So all you have to say is Amplify Configure. So what this does is it just asks you to go ahead and log into your AWS console first and create a user over there. So here, as I said earlier, so it has straight away taken you to the AWS console and is asking you to log into that. So what I've done is uh, I've already done that thing on my machine. So I'll just quickly uh, go through the questions which it will ask and skip to the next step. So after you have logged into your console, just come and press enter over here. And the next important question which your Amplify will ask is, okay, which is the location, which is your preferred AWS region? So by default, it is US East one. So let's, that, that should be fine. And the next important thing is, it will go ahead and ask uh, what is the user name you want to create in your AWS. So here I'll just quickly go ahead and do that. So again, it takes, takes back you to the AWS console and it creates a user over there. So once that is done, you just need to get your access ID and your secret key from your AWS and put it over here. So that's it. So I've already done that step. So if you really want that step to be detailed, so just let me know. I will try to do uh, another video only specific to how to configure AWS Amplify on your machine. So once we have done that, so ensure that you are on your project folder. The next important step is we need to go ahead and initialize our project with AWS framework. So how do you do that? All you have to do is you just need to say amplify in it. So what this command will do is it will just uh, ask a couple of questions and configure your AWS uh, in such a way that it's done everything out of the box for us. So it says like, what's your project name? So my project name is CodeGuru and what's your environment you want to create. So this is, in this video tutorial, we will go ahead and create a dev environment inside actual AWS environment, not locally. So here, what is your preferred editor? It is VS Code. And what is your framework you're using for creating your application? It is JavaScript. And here, if you see by default, your Amplify supports Angular, Ionic, React, and Vue, but our Quasar, although it is a view based, but it's it's a framework, a standalone framework by itself, which is a view based. So let's go ahead and choose it as none for this option. So your source directory is SRC. 
So this is the place where you need to be very careful. So here, instead of only dist, what your uh, Quasar does is it actually creates a web application under a folder called as SPA. So ensure that your distribution directory path is dist slash SPA. So the next important thing is it will go ahead and ask what is the build command which you will be using for building your Quasar app. So in our case, it is Quasar build. So whenever you want to build a production ready kind of application using Quasar CLI, you need to use Quasar build. So what is your next command, start command to start your web application? So again, your Quasar CLI comes with another important command called as Quasar serve, which will go ahead and if you are running it locally, it will just go ahead and quickly spin up a web server and start hosting your Quasar application on that web server. So by default, it says it's going to use CloudFormation behind the scenes. So just give it some time. So it says, do you want to use an AWS profile? This AWS profile is something linked or related to your local machine, which you have configured in a previous step. So just say yes. So here I have created a profile called as dev at codeguru.io. So I will be using that profile from here onwards for developing our application. So just give it some time. So what it internally does is in behind the scenes, it just goes and creates a S3 bucket and ensures your application is ready for deploying on AWS. So just give it a couple of minutes. All right. So it has successfully initialized your application in the AWS. So now if you see over here, it has even give you, given you some, uh, some of the handy commands. So we will be using that very regularly going forward. So what we need to do now is we need to host our application on the AWS, right? So now your Amplify comes with a beautiful option called as add hosting. So here I'll just simply say Amplify add hosting. So what this does is it just goes and asks, okay, do you want to create a H S3 bucket with HTTP or HTTPS? If you're creating the environment for your prod, it's recommended to use with HTTPS. If you're just using for dev, it's recommended to go with dev, uh, just HTTP. So here it will just go ahead and ask you, this is going to be a hosting bucket. Are you happy with that? Yes, I'm happy with that. And what is your index page for your website? It's index.html in our case. And what is your error doc for your website? Let's say if something error happens, which page your uh, your user request has to be redirected. In our case, again, it is HTTP, uh, sorry, index.html. All right, so the next important instruction which it asks is, and this is asked only for the first time. So when, it, when you're creating, when you're adding this hosting for the first time, or for that matter, if you're trying to create any AWS specific resources, like in future like Cognito or something else like DynamoDB, if you are creating that resource for the first time, your Amplify console, your Amplify CLI will ask a confirmation. So here in our case, we are saying you are, ha you are adding a hosting uh, privilege to your application. So as a part of that, I need to create a S3 and a CloudFront. Are you sure you want to create that? Just say yes. All right, so now it has successfully published our application on our AWS and it will even open your browser and go ahead and access that link for you. So here, if you see over here, you can actually see it is a hosting bucket dev environment and it is actually a S3. So now your application is actually hosted on AWS, which can be accessed by anyone over the internet. So in our upcoming video tutorial, we will be looking at something called as AWS Amplify Console. So what is AWS Amplify Console is it, it gives you a continuous delivery pipeline as service based on your Amplify project. So in our upcoming video tutorial, we will go ahead and see how to create a continuous delivery pipeline for our Quasar application on AWS Amplify Console. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and please do not forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends. And please do not forget to click subscribe button and bell icon in order to receive instant notifications from our channel.